All right, welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> so this is video two with our, uh, you know, Cisco command line interface walkthroughs. Um, what this video is taken off from is the first video we set up this little network here. We set up the router, gave it a host name and some passwords. As you can see up here, these are the passwords we made for it. We made a login, um, you know, a banner message so that when people telnet or our console into a router they they'll see this you know warning message and a whole bunch of stuff like that so if you if you want to catch up just go rewatch part one and I think it's called Cisco basic commands but I'm gonna change it to basic router commands because that's pretty much all we did this video we're gonna work on the switch so our boss wants us to set up the the same type of password as router one but he also wants us to secure the the switch with port security and to have it so that only the management computer can plug into this port any other computer to plug into this port then this port will shut down that's what we want to have it set out to so your IT you know group or guy comes in and he sets up his console cable from his laptop to the switch in the console port <clears throat> and you open up your laptop and you want to go to a, a terminal program so you get like hyper terminal or putty stuff like that and use that to uh, remote into your device so you just want to make sure these settings here are set to the same settings it's pretty much default so just look them over 9600 8 none one none okay okay so now I'm at my switch you can see switch uh, console zero is now available, so that's indicating that I am accessing through accessing this switch through console. So I'm going to hit enter just to get going here. So first thing we're going to set up is uh, you know we're going to give it a host name. I know it's not on here, but we're going to give it a host name of switch one. So we'll do that right now. So right at this prompt here, we're in user exec mode. If you remember. And now we need to get to privilege exec mode. So we go enable. And now we need to get to global config mode. So config T or configure terminal. And from here we just type hostname SW1. Okay. So we set the hostname. So now we want to set the privilege exec mode passwords. So, and we're going to make them all uh, encrypted. So for the. Uh, privilege exec mode we want to go enable secret and then techno is what the password should be alright and now we want to do the console password so line con zero for line console zero and then password and it's too far and then when you hit enter you want to issue a login so that it tells the router to ask for this password at login. I'm going to hit enter and now we can exit that line. As you can see we went from config to config line when we issued the line con. And Now we want to do the telnet and SSH passwords. So that's line VTY 0 to 4 and then the same same way as the console so this one's candy shop and you require it login exit okay exit okay so now that we got the password set up we can issue a, a save command so uh, copy run start which is just long form for copy running config startup config so what that means is you're copying the running config which is what we're doing right now pretty much like think of it logically we're running the configuration to the startup config so you're copying what you're doing and you're making it so that it starts up that's the way it starts up that's how you can read this so copy run start is just short form just to show you, so copy, run, start, hit enter, destination file name, startup config, you just leave that as default and hit enter, and there you go. So now we need to go exit, 
So we can see switch one, console one is available. Enter, password is too far. Enable is techno. And now we're in. All right. So our boss wants us to set up uh, port security on this switch. All right. So to get to port security, you have to go to the interface that you want to set port security on. For instance, our switch here, you can either look at it physically if you're working with a real switch, or you, in my case, I can just hold my mouse over the green pointer, or the green connection here, and it tells me that this PC is connected to FA0.10. So I need to go into the uh, zero FA, so fast ethernet, 0 0.10. So you want to go into global config mode, and you go interface, fast ethernet 0 wow 0 to 10 enter and now from here you want to issue a switch port mode access okay that just makes this line right here an access line <clears throat> it's just telling the switch that it's not doing any type any form of trunking Okay, and then now you want to initiate uh, port security. So port security, hit enter. So that enables port security. And now you want to set the parameters of port security. So switch port, port security. So you go Mac, Mac address. And I'm going to type in the MAC address of our computer that we're working with and if you don't know how to do that you just open up your computer uh, open up a command prompt you know I'm sure you know how to do that and issue an IP config dash all and you'll see your physical address right here okay so I just wrote it down previously so now you just enter that into the switch port port security MAC address you just enter in the MAC address and then hit enter so I wanna go to switch port port security max and then just hit one so only one MAC address can be issued on this line any other any more than that and it's done you can set it up that like uh, for I don't know for some reason someone had to keep switching the ethernet cable with this with this port here to another computer you can have the MAC address set up two or three or four you just keep entering this line over okay so once you set up five of these lines and you'd go to this line and add a five Set of a one. So now you want to do is set up a uh, pretty much what happens if the port security gets breached. Like, what if someone does plug in their computer into this port? What happens? So you go violation. And it's pretty neat because everything is switch port, port security. And it's remember that it's inside the interface that you want port security on. Now you can do this for a range of ports. You can, uh, I can show you that in a second. So you, if you want to set up all your ports with port security, you can set them up with a, a port security called Sticky instead of MAC address. And what Sticky does is it'll learn the MAC address automatically. And the first time it learns that MAC address, it stores it, and, that, and that's the only MAC address that it will use. Okay, so uh, switch port, port security, violation, shut down. That's the only one I like to use. It covers all the basics, all the bases. It could send a log file. Uh, it shuts down the port if something does happen. You can check them out if you really want to, but shutdown is the, the most used one, I'm going to say. Because if you're setting up port security, you are you want it to shut down. And that's it for that port. So, if you wanted to take a range of ports, let's say, and set it up uh, port security so that 
Okay, you don't just want anyone always connecting to anything. And it's good to do this on um, ports that are being used. If you do this on a port that's unused, then the chances are greater for someone to, some bad guy to bring in their computer and plug in. And then that's the MAC address that's allowed. You know what I mean? So for the ports that are unused, just issue just issue a shutdown command and just close the ports off. And then that's that's like the best security you can do right there. Okay, so we're going to uh, configure ports. I'm going to say starting at 11, which is with this computer here. So starting from 11 all the way down to port 24. We're going to set them up for MAC address sticky. And from ports 2 to 9 we're gonna shut down those ports so to do that you go interface range and then fast ethernet and I just go FA 0 0.11 to 24 oops I believe there's a space there okay so now you just want to issue this command to do a range and you can take any range you want just make sure it's smaller number to bigger number okay so interface range fast ethernet zero dash x dash x okay and we do the same thing here so what did we want to do we want to do a uh, sticky so switch port mode access make them all access mode switch port port security to enable port security and now switch port port security sticky or you can do a help sorry I gotta go MAC address good thing I used the help and then it's sticky and then I believe that's it so you can just hit enter so now all those ports have sticky and what that does is as soon as like you'll see it here with um, station 11 110 or 111 as soon as he issues any t form of communication and a packet travels from you know you got your little packet and he issues a little a message and it goes down the line hits the switch and then the switch looks at it with the it says okay where, what MAC address did this come from oh I don't know that MAC address so I'm gonna store it in my you know my tables and at the same time it's gonna store in to that sticky violation okay so that means you're you know that that you don't have to enter in the the MAC address by yourself but like I said if you're using unused ports it's not good practice to do that good practice is just no shutdown for this video yes I am using a bunch of unused ports with the sticky but in later videos we are going to be filling these because you know I plan to have this network a big corporation and we're gonna configure the whole thing so now that we got switch port uh, sticky here port security sticky we gotta set up the violation so I always like to use shutdown okay so now they're gonna shut down if any other MAC address connects to it alright so now we can exit that and I believe Oh yeah, now we need to shut down ports 02 to 09. So interface F or range FA 0 2 to 9. And just issue a shutdown command. Now you're going to see all of our you see our status messages. FA 02 change state to administratively down. That just means you, an administrator shut it down you can see them all through the list so now we can exit this exit this and 
show IP interface brief hit enter and now we can see just a quick brief of what we have done here so interface 1 is up and up because that's what's connecting to our router and then these are all down 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 up and up and there you go these ones say down because see the difference administratively down and then just down down administratively down means we issued like an administrator issued a shutdown command these this just means there's no there's no connection so if I was to plug another computer in here to FA018 and set up an IP address the green lights will go and you'll see up and up alright so is there anything else um, all right, so now that we're gonna test, so now we're gonna just test our our switch port here and make sure everything's working. So we got this guy over here, hacker, just waiting to, to come into our network. So he walks in, you know, thinking he's all cool, and he wants to attack the management. So what he does is, when the management's gone on lunch, is he unhooks and hooks into his computer. He's like, all right, now I'm on the network. You know, lights are green. Cool. So I'm going to try and communicate with something here. So I'm going to try and, you know, I'm going to try and communicate with the router. So I'm going to issue an IP config. Oops. I'm going to issue an IP config. Okay, I don't got anything. I can't see anything on this. All right, so I'm not getting anything from DHCP. So let's try a common ping hit enter request timeout okay so as you can see why it's not working is only because we're not real life yet so now that we're gonna enter in a fake IP address here on our network and you see now how it's went red that means now we have a violation Okay, so now you have a, you know, on your laptop, you guys had some, your IT department had some uh, counter set up that will let you know when there's a violation. And now you got a violation that your port is down for your, uh, your management computer. So you noticed here that, you know, your port's plugged into some random computer and you're like, hmm, what the hell is going on here? So you want to plug it back into your management computer. You can investigate this hacker computer at your own time. Okay, so now that the port is plugged in and you want to check something out, you can issue a show port security and just hit enter and you'll see a list of everything that you have port security on. So as you can see we have FA010 all the way down to FA24. Remember we did an uh, internet, um, interface range for all these guys down here. And if you look, you'll see a security violation counter right here. And you can see on FA10, it's at a 1. What that means is that it, it, it hit the violation, so that it's shut down. And you can also check out show port security interface FA0-10. And you'll just see a little bit more detail about why this is going on so what it's telling you here is this was the last MAC address this is the MAC address pretty much that made the violation occur because it's different than your your management's MAC address over here and it's just telling you that uh, right here security violation count is one and you also have port status and port security messages so port security is enabled uh, port status is secured and is shut down violation mode shut down okay so that's a good uh, show switch port or show port security interface is a good troubleshooting show command too because it'll let you know like huh how come my interface is it should be shutting down right now because I set up port security well you can come here and you can look and 
Fort security you might say disabled. Well then, okay, all your configurations did do nothing. You're missing that switch port, port security, enter. That's what initiates enabled. If that's not entered, then your, the rest of your configurations aren't going to be shown. So now that we have this shutdown port, you want to bring it back up. You want to get it back. You know your manager's pissed off. He wants to get back working. So you got to go into uh, global config mode. So config T. And you want to go to the interface, obviously. So interface FA 0 10. Hit enter. And for this, you can go shutdown. And you'll see, you know, change state to administratively down. And then no shutdown. Okay, change state to up. And as you can see here, it, the switch is processing things again. It's working. It's getting itself ready. So that's pretty much uh, port security in a nutshell. Uh, pretty much I covered all the bases of it. I showed you what happens when it's violated. I showed you how to check the, the violation counters. So like I said, show port security is a good one and show port security interface is a good one too. So I hope this helped guys and uh, in the next video we're gonna be adding a lot more stuff here and I'm gonna be explaining like the broadcast domains and how to like just set up your network just a little more better because uh, our management here just or our company here just got a huge client and now we need to service lots so we're gonna be expanding our network a lot more in the next videos okay thanks guys